of uh, Ilhan Omar. He says she's married to her brother. We're going to get to that. Yeah, not well, uh, that he, he, mm. that he's married to a <laughs> but it's okay. You know, about her. you know what I'm saying? He tried to make her look bad, and it was a debunked. I, go ahead, man. Uh, hmm. I, I, you only want to go for an hour. I don't know if you want me to end this stream and then go on to um, my own channel to do it, but... Okay, let, let's I'm, go. I'm, I'm willing to pro... Here's what... I, I'm willing to prolong this stream because, okay, you want to get off at um, around 7.10 or something like that because that'll be an hour. Okay. And I, I'm just willing to go, you know, uh, another half hour or so, you know. Okay, yeah. I, I can there's a woke left this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that'll work better. So I don't have to, you know, restart the whole thing then, no, no, you know, no, continue no. on. You are completely broke through woke. You make everything about race. Here he is talking to... Wait, we are not making everything about race, okay? We're just critiquing these systemic inequalities that have persisted for generations, okay? New York City Mayor Eric Adams uh, about the death of Tyree Nichols. Now, Tyree Nichols is the black man who, by every estimation, was just unjustly killed by five black police officers. They were all black. There were no whiteies involved. Yeah, in that. yeah, it, okay. yeah it, it, it's almost like r racism, systemic racism, actually even exists in majority black spheres. No oh, how could that be? Okay. Uh, but of course, when five black officers kill a black man, it has to be, of course, racism. Here's Don Lennon. Y okay, well, yes. Let me ask you, Chief C.J. Davis, <laughs> in my interview with her, she said that all the officers being black, it takes race off the table. Do you agree with that? Uh, no, no, I don't. Uh, I think that I understand what uh, the chief was saying, and I think she uh, really handled this situation in a very professional way. She moved swiftly. She ensured that those officers were removed from the department. She took all the necessary steps. Uh, but I think uh, race is still on the table. Uh, when a culture of policing historically has treated uh, those Thank from different you. groups differently, uh, even when the individuals are from that same group, that culture can still exist, and we have to zero. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. You know, the, the police as an institution. It needs to be replaced with right. something better yes. something committed to due process instead of you know founded, jack booted thuggery the police were founded uh, under the premises of, of racism uh, against black people to, to round up the slaves in the south and these uh, free slaves who were just hanging around they had no jobs so the whole institution was founded on racism or, or, or on white supremacy and these black people are just uh, or these black officers are just reacting because Critical race theory tells you it, do, it doesn't. It, racism is not only individuals; it's even yeah. people, even people uh, want to do good. Even we, 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 we absolutely. Sometimes you are you are really it's bad. You understand? Mm -hmm. So institutions are, 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 are individuals in a way. In, in all that. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah. In individuals collectively, that's what makes up institutions. Yeah. Being honest about it and making sure that we. I mean, this is why I came around to affirmative action because okay we know hiring disparities exist between whites and blacks in a lot a lot a lot of employment sectors so, so you know uh, to, to, to be anti-racist and to be more egalitarian maybe we can you know give people a leg up yeah, yeah. It's, it's just what i'm thinking you know? properly trained police for the realities of the cities that they are policing it. do you realize how crazy this is uh there you go yeah, the fact that you're grifting for an oil billionaire check is very yeah, crazy. Of Eric Adams, who happens to be black, and Don Lemon, who happens to be black. I don't care that either one of them are black. I really don't. Um, <laughs> right. And I generally don't care about the color of the officers, or and I don't care about the color of the perpetrators. If you break Grinch. the law, you break the all those things. It has to be dealt. Yeah. Yeah. He, he also mentions I don't care about the colors of the perpetrators, and also mentions that they were black officers you know because guy, he did that earlier he's dishonest because if he's if he's dishonest on himself he's going to be dishonest on other people if he's willing to latch himself to to right-wing uh, organizations and be a part of those organizations that looks down on him and see him as a bad person or people or, or, or that frowns on his behavior or his lifestyle and still lash to these people he has no self-respect you cannot respect a person like that because if you don't respect yourself no one does you understand yeah. Hoping, uh, ben Shapiro said he wouldn't even go to his wedding. He wouldn't give him a cake. He wouldn't give him nothing. Don't like his face, man. Yeah. 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 And okay, a good indicator of who's a grifter or yeah. not, if they've had a really big political change, yeah. is that it, it, are they chasing money? 
they're they're probably a grifter because people like Honor Avalon and TJ Kirk, if they had stayed conservative, yeah. they would have gotten so much more money and yeah. so much more subscribers. And n now their channels have tanked, and thankfully they're rebuilding them up now. But what is that? Oh, what what are they called? Uh, Hunter Avalon and um, the Amazing Atheist. TJ oh, Kirk. Hunter Avalon. I, mean, I know who it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know who uh, the Amazing Atheist is? Uh, TJ uh, Kirk. I think I, I, think, uh, I see his Twitter. Twitter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He runs a podcast called Deep Fat Fried. It's pretty good. But um, yeah, let's. Now this is this by again every estimation is a completely unjust killing. What they did was horrible. But if you think that five black police officers were acting with racism in their heart as they as they killed them, no. Oh my God. Okay, racism is typically not this you know uh, malevolent you know idea must kill blacks must kill blacks shoot unarmed black men yes no it's this socioeconomic um, standard by which blacks get marginalized as a racial group more than whites okay black guy i mean then, then racism has no meaning whatsoever black people are the biggest anti-black racist like what are we actually saying here but this was the danger of the woke, and this is why you must get woke out of schools because oh once it has permeated well, all of these. And and by woke, they just mean the acknowledgement that okay, racism the, uh, uh, exists. Okay, how about why do we love mar gay marriage? Is it that woke? Can we get that out of the way too? Uh, You're raping uh, children, Dave. Huh? Quit talking about you know your yeah, lifestyle. Great, Don't yeah. mention that that your husband exists. Okay, yeah. as far we as you know, he doesn't exist. All right. We gave you a husband, Dave. Eh? We gave you a husband, man. We made you legalize. We legalized your, your life. We made you feel secure. And you could inherit your husband. Your husband could inherit your insurance, man. Yeah, yeah and you he's working against... He's working against the people who gave him that tax break, yeah, okay? Yeah, all about money, <laughs> you, uh, man. I have no respect for him. Nothing. You understand? Nothing. Yeah. And, you know, by woke, he means, one, the acknowledgement that, you know, any racism whatsoever exists, and two, the acknowledgement that any queer people exist. Because, hypothetically, okay, um, let me bring up something you wouldn't expect. Logo, let me bring it up here. So, uh, hypothetically, if you showed this in a school, you'd be charged with a felony. Uh, in in Ron DeSantis's Florida, yeah. gotta love it, gotta love it. Italian, right? He's Italian, right? Yeah. Yeah, I see. I told you. And you know, uh, I'm pretty sure yeah, D he's Dave. An idiot. He, he he lives in a bubble. You see, I could tell. Yeah. He was he's goofy. He became a little, you know, uh, more of a. He started talking, you know, after Trump uh, built him up a little bit. But if he if he gets out of that bubble, if he travels outside of Florida, it's not gonna work. He's running, he's running for president for Florida right now. That's it. He's, uh, gas stoves he's protecting. Um, uh, working his guys, <sighs> um, whatever. Especially the curriculum in school. Omar, I have a gas stove. Um, and it, it it doesn't seem like anyone's actually um coming for it. Could it be? That this is all a right wing lie Bullshit. Bullshit. to drum yeah. up absolute BS. They are empty. They have nothing to tank. They have no ideas. They, they, don't, <laughs> they don't have nothing to offer society. Nothing. <sighs> nothing. Nothing. Yeah. They have people yeah. without ideas. Once you have taught a generation of young people to think everything is about gender and race. And those immutable characteristics, you can get them. No, okay. Them. The only thing we're preaching is that, okay. We need to accept these people, and because they're not accepted, they get disproportionately affected as groups by people like you. So, you know, it's almost like the right actually, you know, focuses on gender and race and all these distractors so the bourgeois can run off with all the freaking money. Isn't you know, that it, Dave? Call me crazy, but you know how, I'm starting to think the real issue is class. In the 90s yeah. and yeah. 80s, people said bigger against gays and homosexuals. They used to attack them and, and, and until people changed their mind. You have to imagine, they, they, oh, of course, everything is about bigotry and race, but you have to tell people when no is no and yes is yes. You cannot, you have to protect everybody. But Dave Rubin has no, not even inch of self respect in his whole body. I mean, yeah. they have mistreated him time after time, called him out every time, and he doesn't care. 
even when he declared that he's having two babies and and, and they they were coming down on him, he blamed the the war cause. The war cause. Shut up, man! Nobody gives a damn if you bought two babies. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. So, um, you wanna depart yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tired. You know, I had a good time. I'm glad to see you, man. I was. Yeah. I, absolutely. I'm. I'm glad, man. I'm glad okay. you're alive and right. you know doing. I don't know how to leave. I'm just gonna leave from the here, right from the bottom. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Just click out if you want. Uh, all right, take care, man. Good luck. Yeah. Man. See ya. So, um, I'm actually gonna take a break, but I'm get, gonna continue for a few more minutes to cover the uh, story. So, all I'm just gonna do is use the bathroom and um, finish Dave's video up because you know we're gonna have to take a look at you know how was absolutely disgustingly mistreated by house republicans in particular um, they voted to oust her from um, um the foreign policy committees and the foreign affairs committee and that was absolutely disgraceful so um we will be back in Hmm. I guess y'all uh, saw me frantically, you know, get back into position there. But um, we're just gonna finish up um, this grifter's Eat video. Crazy shit that you want. Uh. Okay. So that's the outro to uh, prolong his video um, to almost three minutes.